Hello everyone, Old School from WhatTheBuck.net coming to you with the second half practice review. The uh, second half I got a chance to watch a lot of the one-on-ones and the offense and defense uh, full contact drills, which was a lot of fun. I've got a bunch of videos I'm going to try and throw up there in the YouTube channel. Just snippets of one-on-ones. A couple of key takeaways. Um, Unrein had a great practice. Unrein was effective. He's the guy no one really talks about with the free agent acquisitions, but he seems to always be doing the right thing. Additionally, all of these new guys that were brought in uh, Coach Buckner really likes how upfield they're always focused on being. So you see it rep after rep. They're constantly moving the, the play upfield, and Buckner really, really enjoys that. Now, as far as who else popped today, defense had their moments in 11 on 11, offense had their moments. Godwin continues to impress. Uh, Mike Evans is Mike Evans, DJAC is DJAC. These skilled position players, if we can give the quarterback enough time from that offensive line, are going to do some great things. And like I said, Godwin continues to be more than what. Uh, he was allowed to be last year but there's only one football and so when you look at that set of skill players they're going to have to figure out a way to make best use of this talent that they have but all of it starts with giving the quarterback time to deliver the ball when Fitz has time he delivers the ball well today I thought Jameis delivered the ball pretty well Ryan Griffin is going to be the odd man out and I think it's sad because he's he's really evolved into a heck of a good young quarterback he throws a very pretty ball very catchable ball on the offensive side of the line that, that crew did a very good job. Now, one of the things that's weird, a lot of people beat up Donovan Smith. I watched Donovan Smith have three or four plays today against Pro Bowl caliber defensive players where he was just stoning them. And then I watched him get whipped like he stole something by someone whose name I don't know, and it wasn't the Will Golston snap from yesterday. So it's very strange to see the mental lapse. That's not normally my beef on Donovan. Donovan's beef for me normally is his clock is too short, and he doesn't keep his butt pointed at the quarterback. But... You know, there were plays today where he was absolutely crushing people, and then there were plays where, or a play specifically, where he got just beat uh, badly. Now, that's going to happen. These are all professional football players. When you get beat out here, that doesn't mean you suck. That means you got beat on that play, and we saw it. Uh, JPP on Jensen earlier. JPP had just explained to Will Golson what he needed to do in the drill to get through the block of the offensive lineman. He went and then executed the exact thing on Ryan Jensen. That's not easy to do. Ryan Jensen's a hell of an offensive player. Next rep, Ryan Jensen ended up winning by getting JPP down the ground. That's the kind of competition you want to see between your best players. So, uh, overall, good day camp. I thought that the energy was good. Um, weather was fantastic because it was overcast. We'll be back again tomorrow with coverage. I'll get this video up. We'll get the snippets up, and I think our podcast is going to be Wednesday night. I'll send out information about that as soon as I can. Follow us on Twitter at WhatTheBuck. Follow us on Facebook at Facebook.com forward slash WhatTheBuck. And as always, get out to WhatTheBuck.net and check out all the great articles. Talk to you guys soon. Go Bucks.